Uh, why have you driven all the way to um, Pakistan? <laughs> Pakistan, I know. It is, look, look. Oh, it, it, that's almost like a mosque down there on that can I, building, can I just, just for the purpose it, of is this... Is it a mosque? Just for the purpose so like of... A, not like not me top, taking the piss. It's like the top of one, isn't it? Not me taking the piss. I just want to prove a point that we are in kind of Pakistan. Other, so other, other religions are available. Other religions are available, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, why have I drove over this morning? Well... I, I've drove. Right? Oh, that's not. Have I done yeah. a good job there? No, that's oh. fantastic, mate. I tell you what, you've got a, you, you've got a future in uh, entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell, I was better take these off. Well, I drove over this morning to pin you down because obviously we've got a lot of things going on at the network. You've got a lot of things going on. I've got a lot of stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we're going to start kicking our our project off, I think. Yeah, and it's been going on for a while. I've been talking about it, and we're still kind of in the early stages still, um, but. I think we need to tell people what we're going to do, and the more people that get involved with this, the, the better as well, because it's going to make our content easier. Uh, we've got some content, so basically, um, are you going to tell them what we're going to be doing? Yeah, well, I think the ethos of it, we, me and Sandy have come from the, we're from the, we're from the same place, from the same culture, we're from uh, Manchester, and we got together last year, no, early last year, or last year, because mm-hmm. um, he was doing his cooking, I really like what he was doing. I thought there's something about I connect people. I connect with people, not with pound signs over their heads, with a, a something about this person or I like this yeah, person. Yeah. yeah, that's the reason. No rash, no other thing. And then see how it how it unfolds. And I really wanted something like some more content cooking on on the station because mm. I think we've lost the ability to cook and the amount of people. That, and I know people that go, I can't even cook rice. And you think if you can't cook rice, I might just give up. So. That's how our friendship started, but we just sort of hit it off straight away. And I think it's because of where we've grown up, our values are very similar. Yeah. And and, and I think that's why it's worked. And I think what, what we're trying to achieve is we both like food. Sandy's a chef. I'd like, I'm a bit of a home cook as well, and I can follow instructions and I can make a few things. He sends things. me pictures all the time. Sending pictures. I made a curry last night. It was obviously banging. Yeah, mate. Oh, why do they always send me a curry? Why? <laughs> it's like me sending you a picture of me roast dinner. <laughs> it was banging. And I sent you, I sent you other stuff, and I just send you curry. It's always curry. It's not a ra- it's not a racial posting. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the thing is, it's like a brother from another. So the thing is, what we want to do is create something. Yes, there's loads of food programs out there, and uh, but people are always hungry for more. But it's not about just the food. It's about two guys, isn't it? Hungry for more. Hungry for more. Oh. I think we said that one last week. No, we didn't. Did we? No. I like that. Hungry for more. Hungry for more. So it's about. It's not just about. So if there's a few programs out there. You'll see. What more? Is it Mortimer with the fishing? Yeah, 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 yeah. And we've talked about this, and Sandy's quite right. It's not about the fishing. It's about two mates who've known each other a long time, chatting about crap. Yeah, yeah. Just normal stuff, and you're transfixed by it. Mm. I can't stand fishing. No, no. Do you know what I mean? But it's a fantastic show. So we want your help. Me and Sandy want to go around different places. So we're going to start off in the Midlands because that's where we live. And then we want to spread our wings and go to some places. Sandy, you've told me about some amazing places in Manchester. Yeah, amazing places. We're looking for uh, forgotten food, okay? So this is the point, all right? Growing up as a child, I remember places I used to go. And so there's, there's a lot of them still out there. So there's a bagel shop in London that we want to check out that's open 24 Great hours lane. a day. It's been going on since the 1970s, maybe even longer. We've got, um, uh, in London as well, uh, pie, pie and mash shops, pie and mash and liquor shops that we've never, I've never tasted. Yeah. Um, this kind of cuisine, this kind of food. And Britain has, Great Britain has a, has a massive wealth of food. Um, it's not just fish and chips. But saying that though, we will check out some great fish and chips. Yeah. I, I want to check out the best fish and chips because apparently here in Nottingham has been awarded one of the best fish and chips in the country. Here in Nottingham. Mm. It's called the Cods Cods Scallops. Cod Scallops. <laughs> there's, there's one not far from me that I found discovered as well, and the, the uh, fish and chips are wonderful there as well. But we, yeah, there's nothing stopping us going to. So, to, as an example, which is the best fish and chip shop in the country? You know, where is it? If it's a seaside town, I'll get my camper van and we can. We can... Absolutely. I mean, obviously, the, the usual suspects will be the seaside, but there's got to be a hidden gem somewhere. Somebody that's doing something a little bit different. It's got to be. There's got to be. Yeah. Uh, and we want to check them out. And I, for me, uh, personally, that is going to 
to taste all this great food. And obviously we've got to add a little angle to it, which is me and you just chatting away, um, bringing our sense of humour, <laughs> yeah. our th thought processes. We might not, we might offend, well no, not might. We will offend people because I'll be offended if I don't offend anyone. Do you know that? Well, you've got to push the boundaries, haven't you? I think you'll say, if you've not... You've, it's, all, it's all right offending people if you're not doing it on purpose, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's, it's the other person that's getting offended from what you're what you're saying. You know, I've said some stuff to you. You've said you've done a, a an Indian accent on the show. Sometimes gone, you do a great Indian accent. Now, some people might take offence to that. Yeah, do you know what I mean? They might take offence. Are you taking the mickey? No, I'm. And I, yeah, I should be able to. It, you should be able to say things if you're not being. There's things you shouldn't say to people. Of course, yeah? of, of course, obviously, of course. But, that, you know, we've talked about it before, and this is sort of the stuff that's going to come up, and we might as well throw it out there. Now, we talked about when we grew up in Manchester, and you grew up in Manchester, obviously from a, I'm from a white background, and so I wouldn't have experienced some of the things you experienced, but you said you lived in a street where, you know, there's Polish, Irish, all the rest of it. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, we, we were the only, dare I say it, we weren't, we weren't the only Asian, it's like the Asian family, I was the only Southeast Asian person in that street, so... There was our family, and then there was a Greek family, and then there was lots of Irish, because yeah. we, we grew up in an Irish uh, part of Manchester. Um, lots of West Indians. And then those. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I had a corner shop as well, but... I, know, I mean, that's an old irony. It's very yeah. typical. It is, yeah. and, <laughs> and I'd love to, to, to reminisce about that and, and talk about that, because there's a post yesterday that I, re I think that you might have posted. I, did, I, I think you did. I think it was one of yours. <laughs> and, it had, oh, and it had three pictures of three, oh, yeah. three, gen millenniums. three generations. But the actual wording, we were the last to play out. And funnily, um, I just saw something up the street just now, where you just parked up. And there was a sign saying, um, and it basically was called enough. They were working on this building site. And it says in there, and it said underneath, no children allowed to play. And I carried on walking and I thought, what yeah. kid of this generation goes out to play? None of them, especially on a building site. And on a building site. <laughs> wait, 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 what are we doing? Going to go with the iPads and the, and oh, the, and the phones and go and play on the on the building site? I, I remember being in. They, they took it down there. Us, it was derelict at the time when we were kids. It was was the old power station? Being yeah. there's kids messing about and doing stuff. We used to play on a factory, an old yeah, factory, exactly. and we knew that we could fall through it at any time. Because yeah. a few weeks ago, one lad did. Yeah, and you laughed, <laughs> and you laughed at him, and he <laughs> fell over. <laughs> And he fell through, broke his leg. I think my legs broke. Bro but, so that's the ethos of it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's life, it's food. I've got some surprises for you. There's some technical stuff I want to bring in. I'm into my music, so we might do something about music. We might do all... Do you know what I mean? So it's not just about the food. It, that Love, means, life and food. Love, life and food? I, I like it. So that could be the name of our show. So it's about... See, that's how, that, we haven't got the name yet. I always, say <laughs> I always say there's two things, right, that are transcending generations, uh, cultures, and everything. And that is food mm. and music. Yeah. Oh, and you the, uh, put people around the table and play some music, and they all break, you said, let's go and break bread the other week. Uh, break bread together. I'm telling you, I don't care where you're from and what you put on, you could be in the back, 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 at, back the hills in Greece, and they put some Greek music. You've not got a clue what they're singing You could get, i tell you what, a classic. An Indian and a Pakistani, I can say this because he's joking. And at the end of the day, we don't like each other. There's a reason for it. For it goes back in history because these Brits, these whiteies here, I know, so cause trouble, trouble between us a lot. Even though I'm, <laughs> even though I'm not, I'm more, By the way, I'm more British than he is. We, by get, the way. we get blamed for everything. So, um, so the Indians and the Pakistanis don't like each other, right? For loads of different reasons. However, I have got. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that typical uh, thing that most people do. I've got loads of Pakistani friends. <laughs> <laughs> I have actually. But the point of the matter is. It's, you know what, though? If you had a problem between those two cultures, I guarantee you were to have some food and call the, the people together, there'd be, there'd be peace and there'd be no fighting and they'd both enjoy each other's food. And they'd both talk about how good their food is to the other person and say, try this. Yeah. And that cultural thing will be well, forgotten. And it's yeah. like, wow. It's just a wow factor. And, I, and it's great. And it's, I just want to talk. It's... We, we, there's a lot of stuff about talking around the campfire, isn't there? And that's how, yeah. As uh, humans, we've passed on information. Now we're bombarded with metadata, you know, whatever Facebook's turned itself into. I don't know. Uh, and we're getting everything... F yeah, this is going to be on screen as well, but 
I think it's going to be authentic in what we're doing. Yeah. Not think. I know it's going to be authentic. It's just going to be two northern lads eating food, chatting, and bringing some of our thoughts. Chewing the fat. Chewing, chewing, the, chewing, the, <laughs> chewing the fat. Chewing no, the that's fat. not a good title for a, for the a fat. show, is it? Chewing the fat. The chewing best the fat. show. <laughs> it depends what kind of fat. Fat's good. Dude. Don't get me started about that. Anyway, no, on, that, on that no, note, fat. On, that, on that note, brilliant, mate. Yeah. So, come on. Come and see us.